Hi everybody, Martin the Flickin' Feathers again today and I'll be tying another bonefish fly for you. This is uh, Moore's Agent Orange. Old school pattern. As always I will put a materials link in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who is interested in entering the giveaways, supporting the channel and having access to members only content. So you can tie these unweighted or weight it. I'm going to tie a weighted version. Um, only adding one step, really. Uh, and I'm going to weight it quite lightly. So I've got some O2O lead wire. And I'm just putting a strip along the shank. Show my thread tight. Break it off. Another one next to it. Basically a shank length, and I'll put another one, sort of half a shank length, on top of them. And that's plenty of weight for these. This is, I think, where I'll fish this. Um, I'm actually going to try them on some trigger fish uh, in July in Okinawa, so we'll see. Now, at this stage, I'm just going to invert the hook rather than flip the vise because there's a bit more room to tie if you do it like this. And I'm going to tie in my chenille for the body. Just catch that at the start of the, the lead there. Wind the back. Now, I'm just winding over the chenille using the let the, the core of the chenille to uh, create a bit of a bulk. I'm just going to wind this forward. Got a pull just to make sure it's nice and tight. Keep going. Until I have say a quarter of the shank left bare. Catch that in. A couple of wraps is plenty to hold it. And then push them away my waist. And just tie down. Smoothing everything out. Get a nice even uh, bed for my wing. And then we'll take this. This is Orange Craft for. You could use fish hair, calf tail, EP, up to you. And I want a decent sized bunch. Because um, by the time you pull the under fur out, in the shorter stuff, it, sort of, it does thin down a bit. And then some really long fibres, we'll just draw them out and realign them into the wing. Wing I want a little bit, maybe a shank length off the back, coming out masking the hook. So just catch them in. That looks okay to me. Get all that up. Nice tight wraps. Get everything. Nice and secure. And as you can see, this is a really bright fly. Um, it's not an everyday fly, I would say. And if you happen to find somewhere where the fish are not very pressured, or, or maybe where they are quite pressured, this is just something a bit different. So, the last part of the wing is two, I've got two grizzly hackles. Right, just taking them, sm they're small, they're just from the very neck end of a white and American cape. Um, I'm going to offer these in with the sides, the good sides facing in so they curve out the way. And have them just about the same length as the craft or maybe slightly shorter. Right, pinch them, take a loop. 
catch them in another wrap and then you can adjust if you need to make sure that in your movement you've no shot in the one or anything like that tie them down just tidy that up a wee bit better I mean, you don't need to be that fussy, but I don't like any wee bits of untrimmed waste showing. I like to be tidy. Tie everything down. Build up your nose. So the fly is basically done. Um, if you want to leave it like that, by all means, do. I'm going to put a small coral guard on. Um, you know, I know some people don't like them, but I don't think they cost me any fish. And I'd rather have it. Taking a loop of twenty pound hard nylon, three wraps over it, fold that, three wraps the other way, and then pull that through. Another couple just to make sure everything's nice where it should be. A couple of figure eights through the stalks just to set them up. And then I'll come in, I'll whip finish by hand to go over the Sprigs and Island. Always two. Put it nice and tight and trim the waist. The last thing to do is come in with the heavy scissors and just trim that coral guard. Just enough to turn the fly if it's if you're coming through coral or weed. And there you go. Winston Moore's Agent Orange. Very old fashioned kind of style of bone fish fly. They still work. You know fish still bite them. Chico's bone fish fly is still great. Well worth having some of these in your box. So hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did please uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up below. Take lines guys.